Snow was the leading cause of a multi-vehicle crash this afternoon on I-3990. The crash involved 24 vehicles and shut down the interstate for hours. And as NBC 15's Christy Batista explains, that's the very last resort for law enforcement. It started around 1 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. People driving too fast for the conditions. When Sergeant Andrew Heyer says a semi lost control near Stoughton, and it was a chain reaction from there. It wasn't one large crash, it was a number of different crashes. A total of six semis, a school bus, and 24 cars were involved. Because of that, officials had to completely shut down the highway, something they say is the last resort, but allows more officers to be on hand. We can allocate those resources in a way uh, that lets them do investigation, uh, recovery of vehicles instead of just sitting at a traffic direction point. Blocking off the highway is such a rare occurrence. Sergeant Heyer says he doesn't even know when the last time the DeForest Post headquarters has done it. But today it was the crash itself that shut down the interstate because it wasn't just cars involved. Uh, an 80,000 pound semi, we, we just can't move that. So we have to wait for the tow trucks to get there. Uh, and in that case, it can take a while allowing them to prevent even more cars from piling up. In Dane County, Christy Batista, NBC 15 News. Officials say luckily no one was seriously injured in that massive crash. Now they also want to remind everyone to slow down, especially on snowy days like today.